Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we've been thrifting. We tell you what we paid for, what we're gonna sell it for, and what, if anything, we're gonna do to make it over. If you guys wanna shop along, head over to jamierayvintage.com. Everything's listed now. There's 121 people on the website already browsing, but we will show you things. Occasionally things will sell before you see them just because everything goes live all at once. Um, and today's kind of an eclectic haul. We have a lot of books. Yes, lots of books, lots of quilts. We actually had two trips at the bins from checkout to get it out to the car. Uh, but And then we had some other things mixed in from a couple other thrift stores. We actually didn't find that much this week at the actual Goodwill. The bins came in clutch, though. Yeah, the bins were good. And then we also, also the bins from the barn because we found we pulled bins out a, from the barn because i have my own bins that i need to go through so there's a couple tubs of collectibles that i had bought a long time ago and never listed so every week we're going to be pulling more bins from my barn just fair warning it should be fine we got a notification from the power company that the power had been fixed and was good to go however we've been having a pretty bad windy winter storm and the power has been on and off about six times today <laughs> So we'll see if, if we intermittently get cut off, we lost power and that's what happened. And we'll see you guys on Monday. It's not currently storming. <laughs> In fact, it's so warm that all the snow is pretty much like melted up. Yeah, there. There's a little blanket on the it grass. It was blowing super hard, like wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. And then now it's like either we're in the eye of the storm or it's gone. All right. Tulip candlestick holders new old stock they are tarnished um because they're probably from like the 70s or 80s i did not include those in the listing these candles are going to come with them but they're mis they're misshapen they've been in there a long time and you know they, they probably sat in a garage that got hot and they wilted a little maybe yeah like somebody probably got these for their wedding there's actually two things that I'm 99% positive were from a wedding. This and then that Mikasa dish. So this was $3, $3 at the thrift store and it's $21.95. Originally from a store called ZCMI, which is no longer open, but it was a store here in Utah. Oh, yeah. It was like a department store like Dillard's Macy's. And that's why I think it was a wedding present. Somebody just like stuck it in a closet and then never used it. But they're really cute, kind of mid-century modern. One is taller than the other. Yeah. Um, and it comes with a box, which is going to make shipping really easy. We'll show you the Mikasa piece here in a little bit. Next up, I'm gonna do a couple of plates. This one was actually one of the most popular things. Let me take this ugly blue tape off here. Yeah, take the tape. Uh, that I thrifted this week. Lots of comments on it. It was 75 cents. It's Homer Laughlin, but most of the time when I buy Homer Laughlin, they're like a pattern. This is just a pattern kind of in the, the dish um, and it's all cream. And it is $12.95 for this plate. And then I have another Homer Laughlin piece. This one's more indicative of the Homer Laughlin I traditionally find. It's a pattern, it's a Christmas one. So it's like holly and berries, it's colonial. It does have a chip, I included um, that picture. It's, it feels almost like stoneware. It's not like fine china, it's more heavy. Um, it says it's semi vitreous china, whatever that means, I don't, I looked it? it up a while ago. What does it mean? I don't remember. Is it like China mixed with I was stone? telling you that I looked it up, that it was so important to me that I've already forgotten. It was $3 and I'm selling it for $28.95. It's a beautiful vintage Christmas platter. Um, it's actually very much my style. Something that I would definitely use. It was a long time getting these unboxed and then reboxed. It's all right. I've, <laughs> I've moved along. Okay, next up. Let's do this. So we've been doing a ton of succulents. Kaziah is the succulent queen. She's been planting them. We've been shipping them. They've been arriving alive. So I found this really cute, uh, perfect for spring bird uh, ceramic piece. It was a dollar. We're going to plant a succulent in it and it'll be $19.95. And people have been buying the succulents in the shop as well too. So I'm I really need to get out and get to our um, nursery where we can wholesale buy some like other plants besides succulents. Yes. Because we also want to do some propagating because Kaziah has been doing some of that at home and I just, I just need to buy it. Well, and we, the succulents we have are like tiny and kind of basic. We want to branch out a little from there too. Yeah, we're getting They're, there. they're fun. They'll flower and have some really neat things. It's just the middle of winter right now and they're just kind of regular succulents. My nephew owns the plant bar and they ship plants. 
we're no plant bar, but we're getting there. And he's awesome. When I have questions about like shipping things or questions about like indoor plants or how to do things, he's, he knows all the things. Jamie, how are you feeling? Can you tell? Zeb said that I'm not allowed to talk about it because then it changes I just, the subject. I just don't want to like sidetrack the whole conversation. She is a little under the weather. The storm blew there's in no, and she There's no sick. hiding my, my nasally voice. She can't voice. stop with the sniffly nose. Like she can't fight it. Um, but I feel fine. I actually feel like I'm on the mend. So it's just, you know how when you start to feel better, you sound worse? That's mm. where I'm at right now. So this this is a giant egg basket. I would probably use this for something other than eggs because that's going to be like four or five dozen eggs that you could fit in here. And they might get crushed on the bottom. I would say put bread in that. There you fruit. go. Like that's a lot of it's eggs. It's a nice aerated basket that's like stuff's not going to get soggy and go bad in. How about that? It was $2 at the thrift store. It's got these great turned wood handles. And it's going to be twenty eight ninety five. It would be great for the garden too, just like gathering things in. Yeah. When we start really gardening, I'm always looking for gathering baskets, gathering buckets, gathering French purses. About whatever August. Whatever I can find, <laughs> because it's just like I think I have enough, and then I start pulling stuff out of the garden, and I just I need bigger. Why can't I purchase more than one gnome tonight? You should be able to purchase. Um, Unless they've all sold out. Unless they're selling salad. that fast. I don't think so. I but... did them um, as variants. So they're all individual. So you have to like select which ones you want and then go check out. Yeah. While she's looking up that, this is kind of an interesting bucket. It was $2 at the thrift store. It has like a galvanized look to it, but it's a brass color. I don't know how they did that. It almost looks like it's been dipped somehow. But they maintained the galvanized kind of pattern. Yeah, I don't know what they it's, do to it. But. It's going to be a really great um, planter. It was two dollars, and we're selling it for twenty-eight, 28. or twenty? No, twenty-two. Twenty-two ninety-five. Even better, it's a bargain. Twenty-two. If you still have problems with purchasing, email info at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin probably can't get to it right the second because she's monitoring everything else but i checked the gnome listing and you should be able to buy more than one as long as you're in the right listing it's the tom those are some clark, cute little guys we have a bunch tom of clark stuff. charmers let's let's show them the charmers since we're talking gnomes here hold on i'll just show oh, them real just, quick up okay. front so that they can actually see them i was just gonna sell them at random but because i knew caitlin would get five million emails about them people wanting specific ones i went and listed them individually um and they range in price from i think $4.95 to $6.95. Originally, they cost somewhere between $18 and $22. Actually, yeah, and some these guys are little. Look at my hand. Like some of these were $22, and they are well, they're crazy detailed. Carved by Tom Clark. This one was $24.50. These are new old stock. So what happened is I uh, many years ago, like when I say many, like three-ish, four years ago, I purchased 30 tubs of collectibles from a family whose um, relative had passed away and owned a collectible store. Nobody wanted it. I paid $300 for 30 tubs. And in that I have found thousands of dollars worth of inventory. So it's been a good investment, but I still have like eight or nine tubs to go through. This was in one of the tubs. Um, and the other thing that came in the tub this week is the crystal. So I only pulled out um, four pieces of crystal that we'll show you here in a little bit. They range anywhere in price from $16 to $28.95 per piece. They are all Waterford. And I tried to take pictures of the bottom so you could see the original Waterford mark. And again, they are new old stock. These came from the collectible um, store. And I mean, if I had to say how much I paid for them, maybe like 20 cents an item at this point because I found We so were getting things. a whole Tupperware bin like full of crystal for ten dollars yeah yeah so it was good um and some of the stuff has been not as good sellers like there were some decorative plates there were a lot of plates those are we we put the when we moved we put a lot of those out on the curb free and they went then <laughs> is anybody else trying to find the gnomes and not been able to let me know if you're having a problem with the gnomes so there's quite a few of them. I think there's about 20-ish. Can you show the black divided egg basket? You know what, Peggy? That is at the shop. So that's from a previous, that's from a thrift, previous thrift, haul. thrift haul, which I'm glad you brought that up, Peggy, because we have a ton of stuff that every week there's a lot of things that are like hot ticket items. But sometimes we have hot items that are really nice, but they get buried in the listings because we have 60 to 70 things every week. 
so if it's not at the top, sometimes people don't see okay, them. People are finding the gnomes now because we went, we are, we are down a couple of gnomes. Okay. <laughs> there were some cheerleader gnomes. Those got scooped up by my girls. So if you're wondering if something is still for sale and you saw it in like a past thrift haul, or you're just curious to see what's sold and what's selling for us, you can always go through our collection and compare what we showed to what we still have left. Yeah, we do, uh, like after about a week or so, Ivy will go back in and draft sold items so that way it's not so chaotic in there. Um, and the Waterford Crystal, I, I listed them each individually because I was concerned that they would get lost um, in a variant type listing and it would just be easier to list them individually. And some of them are definitely more valuable than others. Like the original price on this particular glass was $65. And some of the Waterford crystal that I saw um, online that I was looking up was like $100 for one. And I made my most expensive one be $28.95 because I don't have any matches. They're all odds and ends. Um, and I felt like I would be able to sell more quickly if I like, kept the price down and we have like an entire Tupperware tub full of Waterford crystal that I would at love this point, we need to, to get a new it. life. So if you don't have anything fancy, but you want to feel fancy on a budget, we have Waterford for you. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're at the point now where we still have about six or seven bins in the garage and I just, I need them out of my way. We need to move them. We need to move on from having these bins. So yeah, the marked crystal is money. And I looked, I saw the Waterford. Now I know what I'm looking for when I'm out in the thrift store because we actually had a piece we sold a few weeks ago and somebody got it and they're like, it was Waterford. I didn't notice. It's very like faint, but you can see it on all of them. All right, so this is one of my favorite finds from the week. We did find this at the Goodwill. It's an older measuring cup. I did hit it with the black light, so no color changing, didn't glow. It's just old. It's from... But, I, it said it was Kodak, like for a black room. That's so what I Googled it. I think these measurements are weird. It says two, four, six, and then it has the half increments too for like three, four, five. But it's not a cup. So I'm not sure what it was measuring. Because um, the two mark here looks like it would be close to a cup versus like the half mark that's the one. That's not going to be one cup. So I don't know. Use it how you want. I just thought it was a really great picture. We would probably use this for like syrup or something. Yep. Pam, you should just be able to pick a gnome and add it to your cart. So you just have to add them one at a time. Okay, this is a fun set of dishes here. I believe, I can't, I can't read it. It's fire, isn't it? Fire King? Oh, oh no. 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 It, glass it's, bake? It's USA. It's glass bake. Yep, glass. I, I the B or the G looks like a B, and you you read it from the top side, not the bottom. So I'm like, what is on? So it's on two Earth? glass bake bowls with one lid. So we only have one lid for them, but they come with two bowls, and they're just kind of tiny ribbed uh, bowls. But the top, let me see if the camera will focus. It probably won't because it's very fine detail. The top knob on the lid is what makes this set great for me at least. Oh, there you can see it. It's details like that is why I love vintage items because a lot of times on more modern things, they leave out the details because everything that you add to something costs more money and it's always about the bottom line. Okay, so they said this was for photo processing. Nice. And it is slightly um, green yeah. glass from the bottom. Like That's what initially made me grab it. I'm like, that's green. Yeah. <laughs> Photo right. processing. We have a lot of books and quite a few quilts and afghans tonight. We will get to those in just a minute, but I'm going to try to clear a space here. Um, in, in Monday's video, you probably heard me talking about how we have a lot of candlesticks. Yes and no. It just feels like we do a lot of them because we sell a lot of them every week. There's probably 20 candlesticks on the website right now in the Thrift Hall collection that we've painted or, or turned into copper or gold look with the patinas but four more is not going to affect that collection because we sell at least four or five every week yeah they and they look so good in the shop we'll use them to like rise things so i wanted to tell you something though louise kroger okay. bought your basket which one the one that you decoupage the kroger oh on. that's my last thing to sell in the challenge in that one challenge yeah the first challenge we did 
I was Jamie had sold everything because her stuff was amazing, and I had the basket, which was also good, but kind of like uh, it, it needed it needed someone that really wanted it to take that basket. So love that you got that. Well, her last name's Kroger, so I was like meant to that be. Fits. So now we have each sold everything from that. I think I still won that challenge just because we added it up. More. Jamie's stuff was more valuable. It would have. I think she won by like thirty bucks money wise but you know we gave it 30 days and it took two weeks to sell that's everything. not bad and uh the next challenge i think he only has one item left and all mine have sold so we're getting there um you see a trend here so we're, we're getting, stuff sells quick. <laughs> we're doing well with these challenges so if you guys like them keep letting us know what kind of challenges you want us to see with the thrifting stuff because it's fun for us to try new things. We did to, one with Jen last week. Yes. We're not keeping track of We're what she's sold and what Jen. we've sold. We just sent her some fun stuff and she did some really cute, amazing makeovers. And we did some makeovers on some stuff she sent us. We just thought how fun to send mail. Like, you know, who gets mail anymore? Junk mail. So that'd be fun. All right, let's talk Back about to these candlesticks. candlesticks. We're usually a dollar to two, maybe $3 on like this taller wood one. This one is also wood. This one's resin. This one's wood. This was $1.99 at the Goodwill. This one was $2. These ones are both $18.95. Are we painting these ones? I think this yeah, white one they're is... they're all getting painted. Okay, they're all getting painted. Um, this The taller ones are $19.95, uh, but great shapes on them. This one, we have one almost identical. I don't know if it's sold yet, but... The other one was like black. It and was I think black I underneath. used that custom color that I'm actually now out of. Oh, so. That's fine. We'll paint it something we'll paint different. Paint it something else. But these are nineteen ninety five, eighteen ninety five. They're all going to get painted, get a makeover. This one's pretty good, but the resin you can kind of see a couple little chips and things, so it needs it needs touched up. All right. So we have somebody who's. They said we should do a challenge using only three colors to paint your item. So oh. yeah, that would be interesting. If we did a challenge where we could only use certain paint colors and we had to use the same ones. A lot of people, the first week we did it, and we haven't circled back to that, said that we should buy the items that the other person has to make oh, over. Oh, kind of like when you're watching guys grocery games and he makes them do a cart swap. Yes, let's do a cart swap. I also thought if we get some free time this summer, maybe we take a week and we go thrifting across like the states we can get to in a week. Oh. Road trip. I'm all about that. I need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to the next one. Santa Pitcher. I believe this item has already sold. This was from the bins. Um, still has the tag from Creative Co-op, which is a wholesaler that I often order from. I don't order from them as much as I'd like because I actually think they're kind of expensive in my opinion. Um, like this probably would have been $38 oh, if I ordered weird. it That's like a bisque finish on that. Yeah, and it was in a it's bag. Glazed. Like it was new in a bag at the bins. So I can't really tell you what I paid for it because everything's by the pounds, so I don't really know. But I'm always happy when I can get new stuff that's wrapped in plastic at the bins. So. Did you see what I did there? I turned my wrong number into the right number. Oh, yeah, did you, in 1995. And it's in like, <laughs> from what I can tell, pristine condition. So, all right. So I have to ask these days because I don't know anymore. Um, is this getting planted or not planted? No, it's not planted. This is getting painted. It's got like the cabbage style leaf on the sides. Probably going to go with a gold copper or like a neutral. This isn't a bad neutral. It's just a little heavy and dark for springtime. It's a little, uh, what's that? There's the dark academia. Mm, yeah. It's like a style. It's just not our style. Um, all right, let's see. Cart swap, road trip swap. Everybody's like that. Oh, now you guys are getting crazy. <laughs> all right, next up. Zeb, I bought this, but I knew that Zeb would want it because he loves to paint like rocking horses. It's kind of I just like horses in general. I grew up riding them quite a bit. I haven't actually ridden a horse in probably 20 years. Come <laughs> I was like, I was like processing real quick in my mind. I'm like, how long have it been since I've been on a horse? <laughs> yeah, it's been uh longer than that for me because I was about 15 when I rode a horse and I'm 41 now. So but this was, I think it was $2 at the thrift store. We're going to paint it up. Last one I decoupaged. I probably won't decoupage this one just because it's going to be hard to like, I might piece decoupage it, but I think I'm just going to paint it up. Might do like some... I think some, so I think you should do a little salt wash and uh, milk paint only because the salt wash, splattered somebody it. splattered it. So we either have to sand it to get the splatter off or salt wash to cover it up. The hearts will go. The yeah. hearts are screaming late 80s, mid 90s, and they're going to, they're going to get gone. 
Um, they would still be cute if you had like a theme going, but I try to make things more neutral so it appeals to more people. Mike says, I bought that for my fiance. I'm not sure what he's, which things he um, bought, but he bought something for his fiance. And I think if you're buying something, that's always, that's always like near and dear to my heart. Zeb and I, it's funny because we are not like buying things for each other. We like to buy for each other, but we're not materialistic in that manner. But if he buys something that's like special or unique that he knows I would like that you can, I can't just go to the store and buy that means like a lot to me. Or if he buys something, I'm too cheap to buy myself. What uh, oftentimes will happen is there's not a lot I can get her, get her, but I, uh, I sometimes just build her something that like is unique that she won't be able to find anywhere else to like fit a certain space in the house. Or for Valentine's Day, you ordered me a purple hoodie. Yeah, no flowers. He keeps a list in his phone of things that I mentioned that I'm interested in. Then I wait like six months until she's <laughs> forgotten about it and then I surprise her with it. It's fun. He's really good. <laughs> All right. This was $2.99 at the Goodwill. Was this from the bins though? Um, yes, that's from the men. So okay, I don't know. So it's just so like it would have been $2.99. It's like an old aluminum the uh, star colander. It's in really good condition, actually. You see the star on there. Um, it does have some wear and tear, but no rust. So totally usable. Or you can use it for decor, you know, get your cottage vibe with a bunch of floral or something going out of it, however you want to do. Carolyn wants to know about the new cottage color paint names. Um, we're still in the prototype. Carolyn, uh, I am excited about situation. the situation. Jamie and I like rapid fire name stuff and it ended up being so good. Yeah, we have named them. We have actually finally picked the final colors and I know retailers are going to get to order soon. I don't think we have a release date yet, but it's coming. Yeah, it'll like be soonish. 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 Like before June. That's like when I tell people, hey, I'm driving. I'll be there around 1145 ish. <laughs> I think I forgot to say what this is. This is $16.95 on the colander. Jimmy also found this at the bins. It says, peace, joy, love, hope. I'm not painting it. Just selling it and as it's is. It's got a bunch of kids holding hands. Looks like all kinds of I nationalities. I think it's around the world. Like Christmas around the world. Yep. There are four little candle holders in it. Uh, found this at the bins. It's going to be $14.95. $14 I don't think we're painting it. That just coming as is. Yep. And that has a, it's a, got a name on the bottom. I can't remember. Anyways. Can you read that? Nope. Vintage Abbey Press Advent Wreath Candle Item. Somebody bought it. It's a long name. Sometimes I find out the names because I use this. If you guys are new here, this is a good pro tip if you're a reseller. So I use Google. There is an image. So you, I take my pictures. I put them in the image lookup and it looks up any item similar to that. And it'll give you like a range of prices and you can look up the name and like anything that's unique that you might not know about it. And that's what helps me come up with pricing or even know what something is. And the funny thing is, is that I do thrift repeat items. And sometimes I'll go into the Google image search and it'll be my listing that I found for that <laughs> similar item because hey, I photograph in the same place. So. You know what? You're an expert. You're allowed to set the price. <laughs> I'm an, I wouldn't say expert. I'm slightly above average. We've discussed this. All right. Average DIYers. <laughs> Okay, I'm moving the books over. We had some really good ones, and then some we just got because they were too good to leave at the at the bins because of the ephemera. So I'm going to do real quickly. All of the Reader's Digest that we find are always $9.95. We buy them specifically for color. We don't really care what the books are in them. We do include pictures so people will see. That's Lehigh Purple. They yeah. won 6A State the first year we moved up to 6A in oh, basketball yesterday. Just won basketball championship. Boys so this basketball. is good luck book. We 6A were, we State were, champs. We were there last deal. night. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, and then obviously like turquoise with flowers, yellow, orange and green with flowers. This one kind of reminds me of like um, – pajamas like men's pajamas <laughs> like pajama pants i just liked it because it had like the kind of burnt red yes. uh, binding on there. and then this is gorgeous i love the floral we buy these a lot at the bins because at the regular thrift stores sometimes they're like five or six bucks a piece and then there's not a lot of profit well and if they are like the more decorative ones they definitely mark yeah them they up. want them but this is this is actually my favorite this is the top book and this is miss 1000 spring blossoms but it's like the pattern they're really good for decor and you can read them if you want to. All right. Okay. Now we've got some fun little, just, I would, I would use these in between like a couple corvals on a shelf just to look good. Like these, 
honestly, these three together, they're kind of smaller books. You could get some bookends or some fun corbels and just, you know, put three little books on a, on a shelf or on a mantle. Uh, you could switch them up depending on the time of year if you had different colors of books. But this, they're all six, all three of these are $6.95 each. Um, we got them from the bins. So it's like a bulk pricing by weight. Um, usually we're paying on average $1.50 to $2 an item. Uh, when we break it out uh, on what we brought home, this this book is six ninety five. The golden nugget sold. The golden nugget of thoughts. Yeah, I did not read what those thoughts are, and I want to disclaim: we do not sit there and read every book that we purchase. Somebody's like, I bought a book from you, and I didn't like what was in it. You, if you want to know for sure what's in it, you should probably Google the name and the things, check out. A lot of times, unless it's like a really well known, like probably read it, required reading in college or high school. A lot of times when I'm getting a book, it's a hundred percent what it looks like. Is the title like not dumb? Yeah. The I age. hate to say that about a book, but sometimes the titles are like how to, you know, like it's just like weird. I don't like them. <laughs> um, but anyway, so and does it have a deckled edge on the on the uh, leafing, like that kind of thing? So do and dare. I have no idea what the context of that Didn't book is it. about. Um, also, Ramona. And just like to the green, <laughs> a lot of these books, I will look and see like the copyright and the older they are, the more I like them. Sometimes I just buy them because they're old. Like this one's not terribly old. 1952. That's the year my dad was. I born. would say anything like 1960 Crazy thing. and older. He's 62 or 72 years old this month. Like that book is 72 years old. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I buy books. This one already sold. I saw tag sales and flea markets because they're great coffee table books. I love Martha Stewart. Somebody actually was like, how come you're dissing Martha Stewart about getting stuffed under her face? It was not a diss. The woman never ages. Jamie's over here like, who's whoever your, who's does, your gal? <laughs> whoever does her face, I want their number because she is well-preserved. Um, the cool thing about this book is that when I went to kind of look through it, you can tell it kind of like cracks a little the pages. I mean, nobody ever read it. Like it is in a really good condition. I got this from the bin. So it's probably like a buck or two. Here's the thing about and we Martha's sold it for $14 books, the style in here, either it's come back around again, or she's just that relevant the whole way through. Like her stuff is good. Yeah. Always very classic. We have another, where's the chicken book? Oh, we have another coffee table book. <laughs> the chicken book. This was highly discussed in the comments this week. <laughs> Extraordinary chickens. Chickens are just funny. I, I love I'm chickens. I'm the one that finds the weird coffee like table books. Like if you've books. got high blood pressure, don't don't uh, go don't go seeking other things until you've tried having chickens for a while. Okay, so Zeb <laughs> finds books like from the 19th century. Um, so this is like 1850s, and I'm like, look, there's a book about chickens. Um, that this, was that was not medical advice, but I feel like they will help you this relax. This one is funny. Little. Like it has the most interesting looking chickens, and it. it gives you like pictures of them, and like I don't know all different about. stages of life and what they look like when they're born. Look, and... look at the tail on that one. That's like a long tail. Oh, that guy's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm good. Anyways, hardback book, perfect copy table, 1995 again from the bin. So it was a buck or two. Originally, it was 24.95. And it's in really good condition. It does have an inscription to my Gary. I love you, Cheryl. Happy birthday, 2001. Gary loved the chickens. And you know what's funny? If you put this on there, somebody might buy it and be like, who's Gary? You want to know something funny? When I was a kid, I was in 4-H uh, for a little while. And we showed I showed a rooster at the county fair. Um, I got third place. There were some really fabulous roosters that year. Uh, but my rooster was cool. He was pretty. Um, but anyway, I would like that age when I was there, I would literally go through like the, the chick catalogs that my mom would get because she got seed catalogs and chick catalogs. This is my upbringing. Uh, <laughs> if you wonder, <laughs> and I would how like, did I get this and I would, like, I would like budget it out. Like which birds are going to do good? Are they going to do good in our zone for like our temperature? Like are they going to survive well? You know, how how much maintenance are they? How pretty are they going to be? What color are their eggs they're going to lay? Like, this is this is what I was doing when I was a kid. Like, we're talking like 13, 14 years old. Not, not that would, young. If I would have known that, I probably would have started dating you sooner. I just dated you because you were cute. Oh, I and see. you worked out a lot. Uh, I did work out a lot. I think that had something to do with it. It was, it was, a, it was. 
high up on that list. The initial <laughs> well, attraction. I'm glad you uh, you liked that I worked out then because I don't work out now. I'm too tired. You just work hard. All right, we we're got, as soon as we get through books, we will announce our share winners. Just a reminder: if you are on Facebook or have access to Facebook, anytime you share, you get entered to win Happy Mail, and we send you something, anything that we want to send. It could be paint, it could be wax, it could be decoupage paper or stencil, something that I made. Um, you just never know. Um, these are probably the best books that we bought. These are from the 18, I think the date. 1842 um, on one of them. <gasps> this has handwriting in there. Is yeah, that like a letter I from him? I think it's printed, but it is a letter. Here, let That's me show them cool. close. Hold on. Yeah, I'll look so them these are These are in pretty good shape for the age. Yeah, these are in really good condition for the age. So thank you to the people who wrote in because I didn't know. 1842. I did not know who Henry Clay was, but apparently he was a very popular politician uh, in the mid 1800s and ran for president three times. Didn't didn't get voted in, but ran. Beautiful leather bound books, Life and Speeches of Henry Clay, volume one and two. I saw prices all over for these. I just thought for the age and condition, $89.95 for the set of two books. And they are, they do have some wear, um, but in overall, good condition look at, so look at the binding on that or the the pages on that um but i i'm trying not to flip to them too hard because they are very old yeah but look at the age on these it's just it's just really good i think they're just and they're leather bound okay so we were gonna take apart the grim fairy tale and people are like no so we're just gonna sell it as is for 39.95 it is the crazy thing about this apart. edition this edition of the book, if you can find it in pristine condition, is going for like a thousand dollars out there on the internet. I saw a lot of them for about two fifty. Ours is falling apart, so we're selling it for what thirty nine ninety five. And if you break that out into how many pages of ephemera, if you do paper crafting and want to break it apart, um, you know, be my guest. I don't. It, it doesn't no have an right official here. date in there, but somebody did put the date of 1914. Yeah, it's like a gift to someone in 1914. So I'm going to not do too much with this because you can see it's falling apart, but 39.95. We couldn't leave this in the bins. I think sometimes people see us at the bins, the, like the regulars, and we buy things that are falling apart like this. And they're like, like, listen, Linda, I know my stuff. But it was, it was a great book. All right. We have like some encyclopedias, dictionaries. We get these. Not because they're rare, because the encyclopedias and dictionaries are something that were like mass produced. They're putting them in all the schools and all the colleges, law offices. There's this one that's falling apart. Um, this is the desk standard dictionary. I like this one because it's indexed. Um, so this could be just good for sitting around. But when you crack these dictionaries open, a lot of times um, I like the way they break the words out phonetically, uh, but also um, they have pictures. So this one is 1948 and it's 1995. This one is coming apart, but a lot of people take these dictionary pages, like Zeb said, and they use them just for like framing. This one that's cool. This is the um, Consolidated Webster Comprehensive Dictionary. Mine has flowers in it. Can you guys see this from back there? I'm trying. To that is actually really cool. That's in the middle of this one. So for 1995, I'm talking over myself. Probably. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good skill. I think it's time for a mid video like clean out. <laughs> Are you talking about my nose? Yeah, you're All sniffing right. a lot. I'm going to walk away for a minute. Zeb, get, we'll keep you going. I'm going to keep showing books. you books. We're almost actually done with the books. We do have a couple more dictionaries. Um, if I can find an old William Shakespeare's works has been printed for a long time because he's been popular for a long time. Um, he was he was popular while he was still alive. Um, but this one is from 1944. It's it's 12.95 for this volume, um, but it is complete. I, I leafed through it to make sure that there was nothing like torn or ripped. And then it's got like you can see the inside here. Um, we found another Shell Silverstein book that probably from the same people just comes out in the bins at different times. This one has a little bit of water damage on the actual. That one's not as old. It's like from 1996. Yeah, on the cover. Um, the other one was like a, we couldn't tell if it was a first edition or not, but it still has all the art and everything in there. This one, where did my thing go? Twelve ninety five on Shell Silverstein's book. Just great little fun poems. Show them the children's Bible. 
Um, is no. No, you just put it underneath that. That's what I was saying. Oh no, I didn't. All right, we got to rapid fire these though. Yeah. So children's story Bible. I just love the books. So it's got pictures, and then it kind of breaks it down and simplifies it a little bit for kids. Um, this I one's twelve ninety five. Front of that one. This one. Jamie got it because of the uh, the very first like title page art. I would totally. Don't tell my sister because she's a librarian, but I totally would take that page, cut the picture out, and frame it. Um, $9.95 for the Songs of Praise. People like to – this one is missing probably a few. It does have page one, but like the beginning pages and the index. But people like to take these and, like, clip them onto things, frame them, use them for ephemera. Songs of Praise is $9.95. And this one, this is just, like, music sheets. It's probably a workbook for, like, piano lessons. Um, that one is six ninety five. These we have three of these uh, different volumes. They're listed on the website. They're leather bound uh, and definitely older. These are like an older uh, encyclopedia. It looks like it used to be a set of six. We only have three of them. Um, Those all sold. We have volume one, two, and four. But they are also kind of just like the dictionary. They just got tons of art all and throughout. They're beautiful. Like they've got leather on the edge, and then they've got like the hardback here. They, I love this, like the page decor. Here's botanicals in this one. Look at that. Nice. I'm like maybe we should have saved these. There's all <laughs> there's all kinds of scientific um, prints in them. Let me so show that one up close. If you're wanting to piece them out, <laughs> there's a lot in there. I'm not saying you should because those are really good books. Zeb, you are the unique thing in the house. He is unique. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did we show this? So I'm something. More music, sheet music, 695, perfect for like any kind of decor. And then the most random one that we bought, Zeb purchased the Montana cookbook. Tell him about I... this. You know, if this doesn't sell, I'm throwing this in my, uh, my camping cookbook. It's got a chalk wagon on the front here, and it's literally it's like quick, easy, like real simple recipes that you can throw together quick. Mary Beth bought that. Mary, Mary Beth. Mary Beth Farrell, she bought that, and the children around the world. Well, but there's art in here too, like lots it's of it. It's a good it. one. Look at that. And there's this is my favorite piece of art. I flipped through it the other day looking through at all the art in here. I was not expecting this in a cookbook, but there you go. Nicole Cooper's mom says, I want a blanket. You're going to need to be more specific. <laughs> but you got my number, so you can text me. Robin, if I missed it, you'll have to shoot an email. I think we have 1,200 people here between Facebook and um, YouTube. And so the comments are like rolling, rolling. 1209. Thanks for sharing out, guys. Speaking of sharing, share winners. Oh, okay, we got through the books. Did you go through those ones over there? Yeah, I showed them and then pushed them back. Over. Oh, okay. Caitlin goes through at random and picks out people that share on Facebook. This week's winners are Debbie J. Biggers and Dorothy Bracanto. She will spell out the names in comments. Um, if that's you, just email info at jamierayvintage.com with your mailing address, and we will ship anywhere that's legal to ship to, even outside of the country. So thanks for sharing, guys. And... Uh, Keep keep up the good work because we can't do all the things that you guys do. All the liking, the sharing, the commenting, all that is like super helpful to us and we appreciate it. I'm going to rapid fire a couple things here real quick. We have the mother, a rainbow in the storms of life mug. It was a dollar. We're selling it for $9.95. Mother's Day is coming. Mother's Day is coming. We have this set of four. I just thought this was cute. But I think these Jamie is selling these individually. We do this a yeah, lot. Yeah, we sell them individually. We just sold out mugs. of the last ones we had, I thought. So these are false graph. Actually, this is a different size and shape than I've seen. Usually they're a little taller and they're rounded more on the bottom. This has like a step. It's almost like a little soup on the cup bottom. or something or a teacup. I don't know. Yeah, they were $1.50 each at the thrift store. We're selling them for $4.95 each. They do need some scrubbing. They've been sitting on the cabinet. They got some kitchen fur. We'll Remember to get that off for you. I'm going to set them in the needs put work fixed. Put them or... in the sink and I'll put them in the dishes when we're done. I'll okay. put them in the dishwasher. The false scrub mugs have all sold. So we will get those ran through the dishwasher for you. Um, do we ever argue? <laughs> yeah. What? We're human. Argue with her? Look how cute she is. <laughs> when he's driving or I I'm will. Driving. I will say this. She does not always get her way, unfortunately. 
She's on cute camera, enough, I do, but off this camera, Zeb is more real, which is good because you got to be real. We're good sounding boards for each other. Like we 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 both are, uh, know each other really really well, and she's a voice of reason when I need it, and I can be a voice of reason when she needs it. So we're both also pretty. I feel it's like it's less argumentative and more like a conversation. Very rarely, very rarely are we like heated about something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there except, and it's usually like dumb stuff. Like when we built the house, I think the worst argument we ever had was where to put the toilet paper rolls. But by that point, we were bordering exhaustion and hadn't slept I had, in four days. No, I hadn't slept in like thirty hours straight at that point, and I was just <laughs> screwing those things on the wall. I'm like, "Yep, that works for me." Done. Oh. Jamie's like, "I can't reach that too so far away." The footed cutting board. Are you talking about this one, Robin? We have two. This one is getting oiled. And sanded. And sanded because it has a logo on it. It's like a weird like business logo. I don't know where the price went to this one. You just peeled it off. Um, I don't know what it is. I want to say it's like twelve ninety five or sixteen ninety five somewhere right, in one. that range. Oh, the one in, she wants this one sanded and oiled. Yeah, this one. So this is butcher block, but it's, it's not, not going to be perfect. It's it's like old butcher block. Like your traditional book butcher block is more of like an inch and a half, like we did on the countertops back here. This is something you would have found Somebody in like an, custom made that, like an ancient kitchen or something, and. Look at it. so these are all individual, and then it they they bordered it, they they trimmed it out, and then it's got oak feet that are like glued down in. So they probably routered the inside or chiseled it out, and dropped those down in. And it is thick. It's like a yeah, we full can. Two I I we can sand and oil it. I'm not like stripping it down to new perfection, but we can sand and oil it. I I had to see super difficult. How two and three quarters inches That's thick. thick. To, to put that in contrast, our butcher block countertops are one and a half. Oh, you just want to be able to use it? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, we'll totally make it usable. Yeah, we'll food safe it up for you. We'll put these together so that way we both get done. This one's getting decoupage. This one is not, this is not, yeah, this one's getting decoupage. This is $1.50. We're going to put one of those bunny, A4 bunny decoupage papers on there. It'll be $16.95. I don't know how long the bunny decoupaged cutting boards are going to sell, but we're just going to keep making been, them. It has been, I'm going to have to do new bunnies every year. That bunny has been like our best seller Some launch bunny paper. really likes it. Okay. Right. Do we have enough out of the way I can show quilts? Um, let me show this first. Okay. I want to show this too, and I'll move it out of the way this too. This is a bag of some ladies craft supplies. It's a lot of rickrack, a lot of binding, a lot of bias tape and trim. It's actually probably a good amount, even back in the vintage pricing. Oh, 10 cents for bias tape for four yards. That is old. <laughs> um, oh, Bondex, hot iron tape. I can neither confirm nor deny that the Bondex is still going to be functional. Um, there's some buttons in here. Anyways, $19.95 for all of this. It came from the bin, so it's probably like a buck because they, they weigh everything. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here. I don't remember what I even called this. I think I said like trim. I don't know. So this is a print. Um, we're selling this mostly for the frame. I was half tempted to put a new print in this just because it's older before printers were as, as good as they are now. Um, but it does pass the six foot rule. If you don't know what the six foot rule is, there's like, there's the uh, the adage of uh, I forget what it's called, but like the, I think it's like one. good art looks good from six feet away, or yeah. like when you have a professional painter come paint your house, you shouldn't be able to notice any blemishes from six feet away. Yeah. Also, um, like the one foot rule is for like looking at small sections to look for texture, technique, style, things like that, brush strokes. Six feet, the whole thing starts coming together, and if it still looks good past twenty feet um you're you because past 20 feet you're going to start to lose like faces on a lot of art and details oh, we contemplated like, but it should be still interesting enough to like catch your attention and want to bring you closer we contemplated like decoupaging over this but everybody loved it so and right now you're so, six feet away from the camera well about right here careful you can knock over your easel so this already sold it was 12 dollars. we sold it for 69.95 and it's, it's getting a nice out. wood frame that's that's why I got it. The art is a bonus. Vicky wants floppy-eared bunnies, so I, we will work on that. Christina just bought your uh, Henry Clay books. And then this easel here, 
we actually found this one um it's it's still being produced but for quite a bit more and this one's in new condition i don't think anyone's uh, even like painted on it right yeah it's it still comes with a bag it has a bag for paid. carrying out to the woods so that you can go paint in the mountains or the fields it was 15 dollars. we're selling it for 42.95 but yeah it all comes down i'm not going to take it down right now because it does take a, a, a half a second to get it but it's a great easel opens up really wide and then it's got a tray down here if you need it for uh, additional height for your canvas or a tray to put like your art supplies we don't currently have any just prints available yet um we will shortly have canvases available we're still working on the here's, large rice paper because the hard shipping thing. is like trying to figure out how to ship it without creasing it so we're trying to find like a wholesale company that we could get tubes it's from. It's fine if you're going to decoupage it, if we crease it, right? If we fold it and then you get it wet with liquid patina or whatever, the crease goes away. But if you're not and you just want to frame it, then that's a different story. And then we get into like, we need to be able to send it to retailers and they need to be able to ship it. So we're trying to find a affordable option to, that doesn't like run the price sky high on the product because it costs so much to ship it let's just say manufacturing stuff in the usa manufacturing stuff by yourself like there is a lot of legwork involved it's a little bit crazy but we will be getting canvases available we will not be doing custom ones but i think we could probably have canvases available by the end of the month because we're not going to wholesale those and we do have that figured out and there's enough profit in the canvases that we can definitely just roll them up and put them in a tube i did find some tubes i just forgot to run it by jamie because i was under a car all day I was working that is true. I was working on Odelia's car. It currently won't start unless I hotwire it. That's another story for another day. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get back to the thrift haul. Squirrel. I can I did get the starter replaced though, and the hot wire works, but that's not like a sustainable, viable option. We need to fix it. <laughs> the golden pedestal ceramic $22.95 has a couple of like authentic battle damage where little of the gold is missing. I will just come in with some gold wax or golden uh, patina. And touch that up and it'll be good to go 22.95 for this and then this was a really great pot it's got like kind of a mossy finish on it boxwood 12.95 and i paid two dollars we're not painting this except for it has one little leaf that's a little broken on the top but you can't even tell from the front and we're just going to paint that with some aviary and call it a day isn't that clock um, so cute we didn't price this 19.95 and it already sold i believe okay but yeah, this clock is awesome. And it works. It was working at the thrift store. I didn't even have to put a battery in it. To be honest, we're going to take that battery out because we don't ship batteries. No, we don't send, we don't send uh, any batteries. It's not legal. Quilt time. I'm going to do some quilts. Okay, Zeb's going to do the clock. Somebody I mean, you says, can, oh, but Lori? you have to put like special warnings on them. And... Hold on a second. Lori said that um, she received her glass canisters today and they had a fabulous packing job. Thanks, awesome. Lori. I will let our amazing shipping staff no they're so good all right wool pendleton uh throw blanket. or blanket it looks like somebody washed it possibly and shrunk it before i got it yeah i rewashed it smells it like on, wool rich right now yeah i re rewash it with wool specific soap in the gentle cycle on cold and laid it flat to dry um but it's still pendleton it's still wool and so instead of selling it for like 200 dollars it's thirty nine ninety five. It came from the it's bins, not perfect, um, and has been through the washing machine. All the stuff we sell, we wash it, get it. All fabric. We did not washed. get a chance to measure it. We might get around to doing that before we take them, but I'm going to just show you the sizing so you guys can kind of see. They're usually priced according to size and condition. So this is a receiving blanket with bunnies on it, nine ninety five. But it's double. Someone was crazy with their quilting. Do you think somebody made that, or that's like from a? I don't know how. It they... doesn't have a tag. It doesn't have a tag. I think someone made it just because there's some imperfections in, in the design a couple places, but somehow, they managed to Jace go white to on this side, gray on this side, and it's pretty much exactly opposite of the bunnies and this is this is only 9.95 caitlin dropped a link for all the quilts and blankets so you can search through there because we're gonna rapid fire them we have quite a few afghans um they we always try to pick ones that are interesting to us we find way more than what we, we actually, actually buy. yeah we don't buy them all so this one was 22.95 i think for this square one yep. 
and I think this one has like a couple loose, but I think they're just where no, they they're ended. just the ends that they didn't yeah. trim off. I actually really like. Hey, you didn't show this very good. Oh, sorry. You were, you were holding it all crazy. It's nine twenty. We gotta gotta go. We got a boogie. Um, I love this one. This is like classic vintage Afghan. I like the colors on it. Um, peach is doing really well. This is like a bright peach. I don't know that the picture showed how bright this one was. You can see it there. It, this one, it was this one also 22. Yeah. I just want to show them size since we didn't get yeah, them measured. Sorry. We meant to measure them, but didn't happen. So we'll try to get back to that. We do have a couple of quilts that were like 99.9%. .9 no, they're marked. Well, that one like is a full queen, queen and this one is marked a twin. Yeah. So I was right in that. This is probably the coolest Afghan. I mean, maybe you won't agree with me. This is literally but, someone's odds and ends yarn. Every single one is different. Like every single one is a different thread and yarn, and it doesn't go all the way 42 through. Forty-two ninety-five, and this I would say would probably fit on a twin size bed. It's a big one, despite it being like coat of many colors here. <laughs> it's fine. It uh, is very large and well made. All right, so this one is a twin size. I'm not going. Sorry. This one does have, uh, it's from Pottery Barn originally, and it has a like a side where it's like ripped. I included a picture of it and I marked it in the listing. It just has a tear, like it got caught in the washer or something. It's, I don't know. It's on one of the it's edges. It's on the edge. <laughs> Grab the other side, sorry. Here it is. There you go. So it has like a little flea bite out of it. So it looks like a little monster got it. Where did I put the price on this one? Oh, this one's twenty nine ninety five. Is that what it says? Yeah, twenty nine ninety five. It I is. Bet, if it hadn't it's been, it's the Pottery Barn one, right? Did yeah, you show the but back? Yeah, it's made in India, and there is hand stitching in it. I love the back. Even if you were going to use it for like a piece quilt, like that's a good price. Stella says, "I just bought it. I love it. Let's see which one did she buy. I'm going to see if my if it shows me. Sometimes it'll show me like the most recent things that have been purchased." I don't know why it's not updating. And the last quilt, this one's $99.95. And this one is, is this the queen? What? This is all. Yeah, full queen. Are are the pieces hand stitched too? Um, I don't. The those look is, like they're machined, but the quilting is hand stitched. And this one, I believe, already sold. It was $99.95. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty piece to quilt. All right. Phew. We made honestly, it through. honestly, in 2024, you'd probably be hard pressed to buy all the supplies to make this for oh, 100 no. bucks. <laughs> so expensive. Okay. Next up, another handmade item. It's a vintage apron. I'll kind of display it for you. It's $12.95. It's not in perfect condition. It's really fun, though. But it's really cute. And it's de I wasn't sure if it was an adult size, but it definitely is. It fits me. And it's $12.95. And they like individually sewed on like each of these colors. Oh, that's super cute. All right. So this is a Turkish trifle dish. How do we know? Um, because it's from, I can't say that, but it's from Turkey. <laughs> what does it say? Give it a good try. Um, nope. I'm not saying that because I will, <laughs> I will hammer it. It was and... $3 at the thrift store. We're selling it for $26.95. It's like new old stock. It still has the... Uh, the sticker from the manufacturer on it. Debbie says the laps, yeah, the lap size, the smaller um, Afghans don't, they're not as like, they're more common, so they don't sell as fast. They do sell, but not as fast. Yeah, we, we do have a few in the shop now, which is fun because they look great in there. Um, but when we first started finding them at the beginning of the year, uh, we couldn't we couldn't keep any in stock. They all just sold. I swear that I listed this, but I could not find it. So if I didn't list it, I will get it done. It's by like next a week. waste, not Wednesday project. I like it because it's like cutting board thick, but the other side is, I don't know why it's probably so probably, that you could put a little pin on where you've been. No, it's probably just to paint. Maybe. Like it's for one of those like paint products. Oh, maybe you could so do like the stars and stripes on it or something. We're going to sand it and oil it. So if it's not listed, we'll get it listed next week. Oh. This mic is floppy. All right, just a fun little dish. This is pressed glass, but it has three little feet on the bottom of it. It was a dollar fifty. We're selling it for twelve ninety five. And then some bamboo knitting needles. These I found. Did I get these at the bins? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I think I got them at the bins. 
Um, yeah. They're number 10, I think. And 10 is, millimeter. I put yep. it on the listing. Um, these are 695. I like these just because they look cool if you got like a vignette you're working on. And then someone said that this is... This is a Mickey's alcohol bottle from the 70s. It's something. Um, but just a great... It almost looks like a small miniature pickle jar to us. Um, but this one is going to be $7.95. It was $0.75. Cents. And then this was from the bins. Uh, it's like a... I don't even know if it's silver plated. We're going to call it metal silver color because i can't guarantee that it's silver plate um silver toned seven or it's gonna be 12.95 it does need some good scrubbing it's got like something sticky all in the top this could be used for candles or like a small little pedestal I think. and we will do the scrubbing for 12.95 will this fit one of your little cloches i'm gonna go look i'm just gonna go look for curiosity curiosity well while he's doing that i'm gonna rapid fire the rest of this this is originally from jc Penney's. i think it'd be so cute to put like odds and end buttons in $6.95. Let me take the sticker off so you guys can see how cute that is. And then next up, this is just like a like a jar lifter replica. A lot of people like to put candles in them or canning jars. $6.95 for this. We sell quite a few of them. So these little domes are more for like a hurricane style lamp. Oh, it just barely doesn't fit on the lip. Oh. I've been trying to find something to put those on, but I bought some stuff last week and it wasn't the right scale. So I'm still working on that. All right, $12.95 for this um, candy. This is a relish dish. I bought it because look at the bottom. So cute. Originally uh, from the thrift store, it was a dollar. Um, Fostoria candlestick, two bucks. Perfect condition. Sold it for $24.95. I think that one already sold. That one's from Goodwill. And then this oh, is Norman Rockwell. It was a dollar. We're going to sell it for $9.95. And then this was $5.99. I love the feet on this. It's so cute. We're going to we're gonna give it a paint job. It's got some pressed tin on there and then a little finial on top and some little brass feet. And it's going to be $29.95 painted up. So I'm opening up another, what I believe was probably a wedding present that somebody may or may not have used. It's still got the Mikasa sticker on it. It was $2, it says Rosella, and we're selling it for $28.95. Interestingly enough, it says like original water glass or whatever. It doesn't say anything about Mikasa on the box, but it is Mikasa. So I don't know, maybe they were, maybe Mikasa used to not be as big. All right, milk glass bud vase. We get these anytime we can. Um, it was a dollar. This one's going to be this taller one. It's going to be $9.95. And then this is coming as is. It's got fun brass and then almost like a beaded uh, hammered look. Uh, but a couple brass handles I on like, there. The handles are cool. They have flowers. All right, so somebody asked how to order. Everything's at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin is actually dropping links in comments. So if you're on the live chat, you can click those links. Or if you're watching a replay, if you go to the description um, in YouTube, Zeb will put that there. Or again, jamierayvintage.com. And Jamie Ray is J-A-M-I-R-A-Y. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I got to spell it out because my name does not have an E. All right, I was going to put art in this like do little clips of art but someone said that they needed it i don't know if they got it but this is just a uh, ruler um and then it's got these clips on there now it says nine inches it is not nine inches it is 18 inches <laughs> it's <laughs> incorrect they, they, they go every two inches on the markings probably because that's the way it worked out i don't know but this is going to be 12.95 we're not doing art on it which I'm okay with. I am. It's got a little ding here because it's just it's not super precious. Um, not all. It's like a veneer on the top. I'm just not gonna super wax. precious. I'm just gonna dark wax that little bite right there and call it a day. Um, Kai wants a cottage update. The update is it's cold and we have done nothing. No, sorry, we've, Kai. We've been. It's busy. not quite spring here yet. Well, we've been also really busy with product development, like paint colors decoupage paper we have this winter storm that's gonna 
kill the temperatures off. We had like nice 50 degree weather for a couple of days last week, but I did other things instead of cottage stuff during that time. And now it's down in the thirties during the day again. <laughs> so we're going to probably push that to end of March, maybe beginning of April. But after that, like we're going, yeah, I want to yeah. have it. I'll say this. My goal is to have it close to being ready to go by the beginning of summer. But don't hold us to it because we're busy, man. <laughs> yeah. We got to go thrifting across America. <laughs> all right. Show my uh, coat rack. It's going to be $28.95. I'm going to take all the hooks off, repaint it, distress it, then put all the hooks back on. She can't deal with the Bradshaw Mountain Bears. The red color. is okay. It's just machine distressed. And so I feel like if I did it, it would look better. This is just a really great aged cutting board. It's got the good bleach blonde look. Hasn't been used a ton, but enough. <laughs> Um, Kai says she'll be patient. It's twenty one ninety five. I know. I we teased it We're out. We're not patient either. We teased it out last year, and we started on it. Like I, I was almost done with demo, and then we haven't done anything with it since like last August. <laughs> uh, Tammy, we are not uh, going to paint the gold pedestal. I'm just going to touch it up. Gold has been selling a lot for us, so I'm going to leave it as is. If it doesn't, what you know, what we did think would be fun. Comment below. We thought it'd be fun if we did a challenge where we shopped our own store and found things that we didn't paint that hasn't haven't sold and we paint things from our own shop. Or maybe something that we painted that hasn't sold either that needs like an refresh, update. Like, like maybe we did it four or five years ago and styles have changed we don't and have we got it. From four or five years ago in the shop. Oh, I wonder if we got something upstairs. No, I know because I every you guys want to know a pro tip. You're here at the end of the video, so you get the pro tip. How if many people you, are here for the pro tip? 1,251 people. All right. If you sign up for our emails, at the bottom of every email, once a week, I find something in our thrift finds collections, and I mark it half off, and Caitlin puts it in there. And I haven't really talked about it, but I'm thinking peeps are not reading the emails because I'm not even sure we've sold one item, and it's only for sale for 24 hours. So if you guys sign up for our emails, make sure you're reading them. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Find the item of the week because that's the very best price you're ever going to get on any of our thrift. And it's first and comes, first serve, and there's one of them. And typically, <laughs> I will search old to new and find something that's been around for a while. And that's what goes it's on like sale. It's like a doorbuster. So for the email people, read those emails on Friday and go down to the bottom. If you don't get our emails, if you go to our website, you can sign up. And I think you even get a 10% off code. So, and the emails are fun, they're kind of a recap of our week. They let you know what's going on. You never miss anything. You can find the links real easy because Caitlin links all the videos. Yeah, Caitlin spends a lot of time every week making sure those emails are on point. So, all right, we're all done. Right. Phew, that it's was a haul. It's bedtime. If you guys like this video, share it out. If you don't like the video, share it out. And give us a <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye, you guys.